Good morning, Davidson. Today is Thursday, October 20th, 2005. I'm Nathan McMahon. I'm in alongside Cody Clark, so sit back and relax for your DTV News Live. So it's right. Haley Dinsmore, Angela Brown, and Amber Whitman, you did not pick up your pizza kit orders. Please see Mrs. Gell as soon as possible. If they're not picked up by 2.45 p.m. today, your pizza kit orders will be sold and you will have to forfeit your money. Attention sophomores and juniors, would you like to learn how to become a leader, meet students from other schools? If so, the Greater Flint Youth Leadership Program is now taking applications. An information meeting will be held on Wednesday, October 26. Sign up in the guidance office if you would like to attend the meeting. You must have a 3.0 grade point average, great attendance, and must also be involved in a school activity or club. Now we'll head over to Nick Baker with today's edition of DTV Sports. Thanks, Cody. Information is available in the athletic office regarding the 2005 Fall Volleyball Clinic. The cross-country team finished their Big Nine season in excellent fashion last night at the Big Nine Final. The boys team finished the season in third place in the Big Nine. The team also carried away with three All-Big Nine finishers. John Deming was awarded first team All-Big Nine with his fourth place finish. Chris Ferguson and Dan Gay were recognized as All-Big Nine honorable mention. In the girls' competition, the team finished the season in fifth place. Both Helena and Kelsey Kramer were honored as Big Nine, all Big Nine first team with their second and fourth place finishes respectively. We caught up with some runners before the meet to talk about cross country. It's a lot of hard work and dedication, but anybody can do it if they really want to. Health wise, it's excellent health. No matter who you are, it's good for you. It's a good experience. You build a lot of trust and bond with your other teammates that you can use later on in life. I guess you could say I get a runner's high. Um, m most people may think that sounds weird, but I, I don't know. It's just, I'm not, it's not something that I hate, so I just do it. We've definitely worked harder this year than any other year. We realized, us seniors realized this is our last year and we got to do it or we're never going to be able to do it. So we just decided to give it all this year and we've really done a lot better than uh, most people thought we would, so that's always a good thing. Attention hockey players, if you plan on trying out for the varsity team, you will need a physical on file worth in the athletic office before October 31st. Those players without a physical on file will not be allowed on the ice for tryouts until a physical is on file. Also, tryouts will be on October 31st, November 1st, and November 2nd. All three tryout dates will begin at 4.30. All three will be also be held at Ferrani Arena number two. That's it for today's edition of DTV Sports. Now back to Cody and Nathan for the rest of your news. Thanks, Nick. Mott Community College is hosting Regional College Night 2005 tonight. This event is from 6 to 8 p.m. at the, the Peral Center on the main campus of MCC. Representatives from over 50 colleges and universities will be available to answer your questions. Free financial workshops will be offered for interested students. This, the worst word of the week is nostalgia. I went around the school to see what people knew about the word. What do you think the word nostalgia means? Nostalgia? To be nostalgic, to be slow. How do you pronounce it? Nostalgia. I don't know. 
Just, just give it a whack. Uh, like. Sounds scientific. Dalgia? Yes. Some form of algae? I don't, I don't know. What do you think the word nostalgia means? Um, what was the word again? Nostalgia. Sounds like a stallion to me. I don't know. <laughs> I think it means uh, when a hot girl walks up to you and you got nothing to say because yeah. she's just so hot you don't yeah, can't think any words to say. And your jaw drops because she's so freaking that's hot. That's, that's, that's what that means. Right, that's, that's, that's right. That that's right. Yeah. Explore Alma is planned for October 29th for prospective students and parents to learn more about Alma College. Details are available on the poster in the guidance office. This is a reminder for senior MEEP registers who signed up to take the science test Wednesday morning. It has been rescheduled for Friday morning, 7.25 a.m. Well, that's it for your DTV News Live. For myself, Nathan, Nick, and the rest of the DTV staff, have a great day, DHS. Ladies and gentlemen, huh, it's my pleasure to introduce to you, he's a friend of mine.